And our other top story, after months of awful conditions for those teens detained at the Wayne County Juvenile Detention Facility, tonight allegations of a sexual assault of a 12 year old in custody. Mara McDonald is working that story for us. She joins us live from Hamtramck. And Mara, this is the latest in a very long list of problems there. It sure is, Karen, and now the state of Michigan is getting involved here, and there is no question. It has been months of issues at the juvenile detention facility. Who is responsible for it all, though? Well, it depends on who you talk to. Take a look. Just last month, a whistleblower at the juvenile detention facility wrote a letter to the Wayne County Circuit Court detailing multiple ongoing problems as a result of overcrowding and staff shortages. For example, two to three offenders being housed in one cell, leading to what the whistleblower calls tensions and inappropriate sexual activity. Now the county confirms the investigation is underway into the sexual assault of a 12-year-old boy in custody. Per Wayne County, we contacted the Michigan State Police who are actively investigating these allegations. We are working alongside them to support their investigation and to better understand all the facts. Seven staffers at the JDF have now been suspended but there's more. That same whistleblower detailed how those in custody are destroying cells, making overcrowding worse, and that violent offenders are allowed to roam around putting staff at risk. The county, up to its ears in problems here, places the blame on the state. The JDF is overcrowded because there are too few treatment beds for juvenile offenders statewide. So you have kids sitting at the JDF waiting for placement. Tonight, in a statement, the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services says in part, quote, while MDHHS does not own, operate, or contract with this facility, the department will continue to use its licensing authority to review the actions of the Wayne County Juvenile Detention Facility. Back here live, MDHHS also confirming it has had staff on site here at the JDF since Wednesday. So let's see what happens next. We're live in Hamtramck. I'm Mara McDonald. Local 4. All right. Thank you, Mara.